Today is the fifth annual Nick Gabaldon Day, and uh, it's an event that we put on uh, with uh, the uh, Surf Bus Foundation and Heal the Bay, and it uh, celebrates uh, one of the first noted uh, surfers of color. Black Surfers Association, Heal the Bay, Surf Bus actually provides free lessons, surf lessons, um, to the community, ideally for uh, people of color. And we've been able to participate now. This is our third year of Concerned Black Men's been on here, and we have usually between 15 and 20 young men uh, come out and learn how to surf. Nick Gabaldon was a first documented surfer of color of both African American and Latino descent. Between the Jim Crow era and the Civil Rights Movement, uh, he was from the Santa Monica area. This particular beach between that time frame was a segregated beach where blacks could congregate and so Nick learned to surf here on, at this location. So Nick used to paddle from here up to Malibu about 12 miles and where he used to surf with the white surfers of the day where they welcomed him into the lineup. He was remembered in large part because he died in a surfing accident in 1951 when he was 24 years old. And he is representative of the other people who were enjoying the beach at that time. The beach is for everyone to share. It's no one's, it doesn't belong to anybody. And so I think that by coming here and seeing that there are ways to play in the ocean, the idea of the ocean can be very big and scary, but the reality is that it's here for everyone. But every time I see a, a child come out and I'm giving them a lesson and they, find, they, they finally stand up and I see that smile, that's, that's the most memorable, you know? And it's happened, it, it happens every year and I, I can't really choose one. But yeah, just seeing the kids smile, getting their first wave, because I know what they're feeling. I've been there. I know where you are in your board, you guys, right? 